Donald Trump is a used car salesman? Yeah, right. That guy is nowhere near the kind of shyster that uh, a a bad car salesman would be. There's no way. I'm sure the guy. I'm sure the guy has made some pretty good mistakes. Uh, you know, going from zero to a billion dollars. But a used car salesman, you know, they get a lot of rap, you know. But this guy is just, uh, he's nowhere near a used car salesman. I got that comment after uh, this gentleman saw this book. I, I was working with a guy, and he saw this book on my lunchbox. And he said, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh! I don't like that guy. And I'm like, you don't like him? No. You don't like Donald Trump? No. Why don't you like Donald Trump? Oh, he's a, uh, he's he's a. Uh, what did they say on the radio? Um, what did they say on the radio? Oh, uh, he's a. Oh, he's a used car salesman. And and I laughed when I heard that. And then when I got home, I wanted, I wish I could have uh, thought of this at the very, uh, in the moment, I would have said, well, give me three examples of how he's a, a shyster car salesman, you know, because not all, I mean, so, um, from reading this book, right, uh, Donald Trump is not a used, or a shyster in his book, right? Um, he, he talks about like his day-to-day -day business and he goes about uh, how he spends his money, uh, n not in great detail, all, um, how he spends it all the time. But the interesting thing about the way Donald Trump writes his books, uh, he's been doing this for years, is that he does not write them in like three days or three weeks. He <laughs> he collects all these stories and he has somebody write them down and they just keep building up and building up and building up and building up and building up all year long. And then in and then they collect all the notes and then he just he has somebody go through and make a book. I mean that is just phenomenal, and he does this a lot with, um, with uh, you know, after he does meetings, after he does you know conferences, and it's really great things. So uh, Donald Trump is a used car salesman. I don't believe so, and here's why: because this guy is actually searching for people who uh, struggle, and certain for he has compassion on um, people who run a business and they just do a horrible job and they it, it they work their whole lives to get it going and then they just suck at it you know they just they it like uh, in the beginning of the book he talks about um how he watched this he he watched this story about these people <laughs> in um I'm just still laughing at the used car salesman thing so uh, there was this couple where they had a farm and they were in so much debt and they were going to lose the farm and they got and they put uh, they made an insurance claim that wasn't enough to cover it and so the 67 year old husband of the of this this guy he committed suicide in the process of it and um, his wife. Uh, was going to lose the farm, they were going to lose the business, they were going to lose everything. And so Donald Trump like calls the, calls this uh, uh, people who were going to, this insurance company, who was going to like, somebody who was going to take over the land, take the business. And Donald said, Trump stepped in and he says, I want to help these people. And then they said, well, we're sorry. He said, I, I was, I'm a businessman from New York and I saw the story about uh, about this lady, I felt really, I want to help these people. And so the guy said, well, there's nothing uh, we can do about it here. And so, <laughs> and 
<laughs> I, I, is, is, oh, he just says like the most, this is the stuff that I find funny. I find, you know, people find humor in a lot of things. Well, I find humor and stuff like this. He responds, he says, now, okay, now you listen to me. If you don't, um, if you don't surrender to this, um, and, and back off from taking the land, I'm going to personally sue you for the murder of this lady's husband because you harassed him to death. And then, like, I was like, oh. uh, hold on, sir. And then he hangs up the phone, he calls back, and he's like, okay, we changed our mind. And then Donald Trump steps in, he pays for it, and he takes care of the whole business. This guy has a habit of doing that. He actually has people that search out to go find businesses who are struggling. And he does it all discreetly. He does it totally anonymously. The people sometimes don't even know that it's him. This is a good businessman. This is another reason why he does The The money that he makes is a byproduct of, of, uh, of his character. He... Um... He, he goes out and he helps people and he doesn't he does not try to brag about himself Democrats do that they continuously brag about themselves because they feel like crap all the time and they should because they're really <sighs> show me a Democrat who values life you know they all love to kill people innocent babies you know they, they think that you know that's their right to do it's their body you know it, it it's somebody else's body that you're taking uh, going off on a tangent so but anyway Donald Trump is not a used car salesman he is in fact a very strategic businessman and he wants to um, have to be on budget and to be on time and to be uh, have uh, just good quality work, which I completely understand. I am a control systems technician. Any any chance I get to build a brand new control a control panel, I am I am all for it. Why? Because the quality of the control panel is going to determine how efficient you are when things go wrong you know because when you want to open up a control cabinet do you really want to open up to something that doesn't have any labels any identification on the wires or are the wires just all inter messy and they look all over but no you want it you want good quality work you want to have everything in nice and neat you want everything to be clear uh, so when you open it up you know exactly what you're looking at you're not going to be uh, in space mode, just going, duh, you know. I remember I had, uh, it's unbelievable. I had done some work for these government sites. Now, I, I'm not going to reveal any, I am not going to reveal anything that I've worked on. But I can say this, that they have, um, they have some, they have some things that have no labels on them and they are all the same color wires and I'm looking at this thing and they're saying yeah it's not working go fix it and I'm like okay <laughs> there's oh man I'm not gonna say anything else other than that it's just so like bogus and it's just one of those things where you have to figure it out and then it's just the it's just one of those things but um if you want to truly understand um more about donald trump don't trust all the media you know the majority of the media actually hates the fact that he's he's true to his word that he actually does what he says he's going to do they don't like that because they're a bunch of hypocritical liars they love Obama because he's a liar. They love the fact that he goes around and he makes all these promises and then he breaks them. You know, it, it's just a bizarre world. 
But um, guys, if you want to get this copy of uh, Trump, the art of the deal, click on the link below in the description. And I'm telling you, there's some really good gold nuggets in here. Uh, if you're just just getting a, a good idea how this man thinks, and he really goes with his gut on business, and he's going to continue to do that even as the president of the United States. And his 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 gut instinct actually serves him well. He he gets information. He gets he fills his head with all sorts of information that is so critical for the business side of things to just to have a sustaining business. I love this guy. Like one thing he would do is that like some people they have they have these schools where well they had they had these organizations where you hire them to go you know search out like an area in a city and to like they'd come back it costs like a hundred thousand dollars to to do this to send them to like new york city for example three days and then they analyze the area and they come back and he's like it's just bogus you know they just have no real it's it's unclear as to what um you know, is it really a good idea to start building a hotel over here? And <laughs> so what he does, what Donald Trump does, is he actually goes to the area. He gets in a cab, and then he has the cab driver just drive him around the area. And then he asks him a thousand questions. And then he starts asking, you know, what's the neighborhood like? You know, how, what are the people like? Are they happy here? You know, how's the crime rate? You know, how's the, you know, how are, how are things doing? How are businesses here? How's the food around here? And he probes and he asks questions and he digs, he dives deep and he asks because that's all the feedback that he needs. If they say to him, oh, you know, the crime is getting so worse, it's getting so bad, the city is now collecting Section 8, and, you know, the people are just, like, moving into all the houses, and they're just, they're destroying these apartments. He gets all the feedback, he just, he does that for, like, three days. I mean, that is just, that is so amazing for, you know, from a business standpoint. He doesn't go by, like, numbers, you know, the people, but he goes out there, and he gets the information. I am so, I, uh, I'm so looking forward to what he's going to do, you know, the first hundred days. Uh, I've never been so proud to be an American, more excited over, um, to see, like, a problem-solving man get in the presidency. It's really, really exciting, so... Uh, I was going to try and make this as a three minute video, but now we're going on 13 minutes and 20 seconds, but that's just the way this, uh, this went. Okay, guys, uh, Donald Trump, art of the deal, uh, used car salesman, total shyster, see, the word, shyster. All right, so go ahead, click on the link below and get your copy and read it. Take care, I'll see you on the next video.